dear students welcome to the another class of mechanics today we are going to discuss about the planetary motion let us find the orbit for the gravitational interaction as we know that e of r is equal to minus g capital m small m divided by r which is almost is equal to minus c by r where capital m is the mass of the sun and small m is the mass of a planet in another word maybe capital m could be the mass of a planet or small m be the mass of a satellite in this way we can assume capital m and small m for the different case consider whether or not this is a realistic description of the interaction of the sun and the planet if the both bodies were homogeneous sphere they would interact like point particle and our formula would be exact that means if the planet or the particles have homogeneous sphere we can use this formula so that we will find the uh, answer very easily but most of the members of the solar system are neither perfectly homogeneous nor perfectly sphere so we will not able to find the answer very easily for example satellite around the moon are perturbed by mass concentration in the moon that means mass cons that means in case of moon there is a change in the mass concentration so that what happen when the satellites are moving around the moon there may be some perturbed in the path of their orbit similarly in case of a mercury the planet mercury may be slightly perturbed by an equatorial bulge of the sun so this may be the uh, difficult situation where uh, we will not able to apply our equation smoothly so the solar system is not a two body system each planet is attracted by all other planets as well as by the sun it means for example in the case of a group of charge there is some attraction between the charges uh, and if you have a test charge that is placed outside there may be two types of attraction that means the test charge will attract to each point charge similarly the point charge will also attract each other the same way in the solar system each planet will attract each other in addition to the sun attracted by them but none of these effect is particularly large most of the mass of the solar system is in the sun so that the attraction of the planet for each other is quite feeble that means the attraction is mainly due to sun and the planet we can avoid any attraction between the planet the largest interaction is between jupiter and saturn the effect of this perturbation is chiefly to change the speed of each planet so that the law of equal areas no longer hold exactly however the perturbation never shift jupiter by more than a few minutes of arc from its expected position although different planet attract each other their magnitude of their force is very small so that we can ignore their force of attraction between each other so in a solar system we will consider main attraction is the force of attraction between planet and the sun in practice one first calculate planetary orbits neglecting the other planets and then calculate small correction to the orbits due to their presence sadharana gadil nammal calculate cheyumbol planetary motion le sunum planetum thammilulla force calculate cheyana shesham equation kandupidichana shesham mathramana aa equation le cheriya corrections cheynadu aa corrections cheynadu for the possibility of any other force of attraction between the each planet such a procedure is called a perturbation method the transuranic planet were actually discovered by their small perturbing effect on the orbits of the known outer planet appo ingane nammal aadyam planetukal thammilulla force of attraction neglect cheyidukonde sunum planetum thammilulla attraction the equation kandupidichadine shesham koodal accuracy ku vendi nammal adinaduthulla edengilum effect kalai koodi nammal calculate cheyunnundu ഇങ്ങനെ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന 
മെത്തേഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പേരാണ് പെട്രവേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് ഈ പെട്രവേഷൻ മെത്തേഡ് ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നമ്മൾ പുതിയ പ്ലാനറ്റുകളെയും കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് പ്രഥമോർ ഇഫ് എ ബോഡി ഈസ് നോട്ട് ക്വൈറ്റ് ഹോമോജീനിയസ് ഓർ സ്പെറിക്കലി സിമിട്രി ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗ്രാവിറ്റേഷൻ ഫീൽഡ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഷോൺ ടു ഹാവ് ടേംസ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡിംഗ് ഓൺ വൺ ബൈ ആർ ക്യൂ വൺ ബൈ ആർ റേസ് ടു ഫോർ എക്സെട്ര ഇൻ അഡീഷൻ ടു ദി മെയിൻ വൺ ബൈ ആർ സ്ക്വയർ ടൈം ദി കോഫിഷ്യൻസ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ഓൺ ദി സൈസ് ഓഫ് ദി ബോഡി കമ്പേർഡ് വിത്ത് ആർ ഓവർ ദി സ്പാൻ ഓഫ് ദി സോളാർ സിസ്റ്റം ദി ഹയർ ഓർഡർ ടേംസ് ബിക്കം നെഗ്ലിജിബിൾ ഓൾ ദോ ദ മേ ബി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫോർ എ നിയർ ബൈ സെറ്റിലെ ഇൻ ദിസ് വേ യു വിൽ ഫൈൻഡ് the equation of the orbit according to the equation 1 we may familiar with this equation d theta by dr which is equal to l by mu r square into 1 by root of 2 by mu into e minus u effective where l is the angular momentum e is the energy and u is the total effective potential so d theta by dr which is equal to L by mu r square into 1 by root of 2 by mu into E minus we can substitute U effective as minus G M1 M2 divided by R plus L square by 2 mu r square. In this way D theta by dr which is equal to L by r into 1 by root of 2 mu square r square divided by mu into E minus minus R. c r plus l square by 2 mu r square here we have uh, taken r to the under of square root so that what happened in similarly mu also we have take inside so mu can be mu square while it is inside the square root similarly 1 r is also inside so that is r square so 2 mu square r square divided by mu so what happened 1 mu can be cancelled then which is equal to l by r 1 by root of mu and mu square one no can be cancelled so 2 mu r square e that is the first term 2 mu e r square plus both the minus sign can be taken as positive now what happen 2 will be there mu is also there r 1 r can be cancelled so that is 2 c mu r minus in this way the last term is l square so after taking an integration dr can be go to the right side take inside we can take integral so that is d theta can be theta and if we integrate in the right side there is a constant that constant is theta zero can be take into the left side so theta minus theta zero which is equal to l integral dr divided by r root of 2e mu r square plus 2c mu r minus l square so this can be taken as theta minus theta zero is equal to l into integral dr divided by r into 2 mu e r square plus 2 mu c r minus l all raised to 1 by 2 theta zero is taken as a constant of integration the integral over r is listed in the table of integrals the result using indefinite integral is e right side illulla term in integral tables il ulla common formula ubayichu change cheyugiyanengil we can take this as theta minus theta zero is equal to r sin into mu c r minus l square divided by r into root of mu square c square plus 2 mu e l square so this equation can be taken as sin theta minus theta zero is equal to mu c r minus l square divided by r into root of mu square c square plus 2 mu e l square this can be rearranged as mu c r minus l square which is equal to r into root of mu square c square plus 2 mu e l square into sin theta minus theta zero then this can be rearranged by mu c r minus r into root of mu square c square plus mu 2 e l square into sin 
theta minus theta 0 is equal to L square. That means L square from LHS can be taken to RHS and the RHS 10 is changed to LHS. Now we will take R as common from the LHS. So R into mu C minus R is already taken for common time. So R into mu C minus root of mu square C square plus 2 mu L square into sine theta minus theta 0 which is equal to L square. So R is equal to L square divided by mu C minus root of mu square C square plus 2 mu L square into sine theta minus theta 0 and finally R is equal to L square divided by mu is also taken outside so mu C into 1 minus root of 1 plus 2 L square by mu C square into sine theta minus theta 0 so while we will take mu C as constant here there is no C term so that will be divided by c square in this way r is equal to this mu c can be go to the upper side so l square by mu c into 1 minus root of 1 plus 2 e l square divided by mu c square into sine theta minus theta 0 now we will uh, substitute if theta 0 is equal to pi by 2 r 0 is equal to l square by mu c and epsilon which is equal to root of 1 plus 2 el square by mu c square so after substituting this whole term the final r will be r is equal to r0 by 1 minus epsilon cos theta so r0 is the radius of the circular orbit corresponding to the given values l mu and c the dimensionless parameter epsilon called the eccentricity characterize the shape of the orbit that means the epsilon will give the shape of the orbit that is known as eccentricity so r is equal to r0 divided by 1 minus epsilon cos theta now cross multiplied what happened r0 is equal to r minus r epsilon cos theta after rearranging this r is equal to r0 plus r epsilon cos theta now square on the both side that is r square is equal to r0 square plus 2r0 r epsilon cos theta plus r epsilon cos theta all square that means rhs a plus b all square now in cartesian coordinate x is equal to r cos theta you may know that y is also is equal to r sin theta so after substituting this otherwise after squaring on both side and adding so what happened s square plus y square is equal to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta and cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 that is x square plus y square is equal to r square now substitute in this equation r square is s square plus y square that is x square plus y square which is equal to r0 square plus 2 r0 epsilon what is r cos theta that is x plus that is r cos theta x that is x epsilon all square that is x square epsilon square now this equation can be rearranged as this x square can be go to the lhs and take x square as a common time so x square into 1 minus epsilon square plus we have already y square this term can be negative while it is in lhs so the final equation is x square into 1 minus epsilon square plus y square minus 2 r0 epsilon x is equal to r square. by using this equation we have a different possibilities that is depend upon the value of eccentricity epsilon the first condition is if epsilon greater than 1 if epsilon if epsilon is greater than 1 we will examine the equation 2 what happened the x square term will be negative because epsilon is greater than 1 so what happened the coefficient of x square and y square are unequal and opposite in sign because the x square term is uh, negative because epsilon square is greater than 1 but y square have a positive term so the x square and y square have unequal and opposite in sign the equation has a form y square minus ax square minus bx is equal to a constant which is the equation of a hyperbola from equation 1 epsilon greater than 1 whenever e greater than 0 this e you may familiar with during our previous class if it is not please refer to the previous class in case 2 epsilon if is equal to 1 
the equation 2 is x is equal to y square by 2r0 minus r0 by 2. If epsilon is equal to 1, the x square term will be 0. That is remaining y square minus 2r0 which is equal to r0 square. Using this equation, we can find x is equal to y square by 2r0 minus r0 by 2. This is the equation for a parabola if epsilon is equal to 1, then e is equal to 0. In our third case, that is the value of epsilon in between 0 and 1. The coefficient of x square and y square are unequal, but same sign. That means the value of epsilon is in between 1 and 0. That means most probably this is 1, but during the major case, the value of epsilon is less than 1 not less than 0. So, the value of x square is always positive. Similarly, y is also positive. So, in this way, the coefficient of x square and y square are unequal, but the same sign. The equation has a form y square plus ax square minus bx is equal to constant, which is the equation of an ellipse. The term linear in x means that the geometric center of the ellipse not at the origin of the coordinate. One focus of the ellipse is at the origin. For epsilon less than 1, the allowed values of E are minus mu c square divided by 12 square less than or is equal to E less than 0. When E is equal to mu c square by 12 square, epsilon is equal to 0 and the equation of the orbit become x square plus y square is equal to r0 square the ellipse generate degenerate to circle in this way epsilon will give the shape of the orbit if the value of epsilon is in between 0 and 1 that is the value of ellipse that will give the shape in ellipse thank you